Hey there, Kayla here, and today we're going to be talking about how to share your content on Pinterest using intervals with Tailwind. So I'm going to go ahead and pop over to my Tailwind account, and you can see that on my Chrome browser here at the very top, you have the Tailwind Publisher extension. You can go ahead and Google um, Tailwind extension and get this for your Chrome browser. It's going to help you in this process and learning how to schedule pins. Now you don't need the extension, but I'm going to be using it in this example. So to schedule a Pinterest pin, I'm going to go ahead and hop on to Pinterest and show you the next steps for using intervals. So here I am on Pinterest and I've identified a pin of mine the step-by-step -step guide for how to get your rich pins verified on Pinterest and I'm gonna go ahead and hit schedule you can see this little button has popped up now that has popped up because of the tailwind extension so when I hit schedule you'll get this pop-up menu and it will show you that you have one new image saved and the image should have a description and a link associated with it um, so assuming that all of that looks good, you need to choose more than one board in order to use Tailwind intervals. So go ahead and type in the board names that you want to share to. I actually am going to use my saved boards, um, my groups of boards. I have multiple, but here's a list of group boards I have. So you can see with one click I've added 14 different boards. So once you have your board selected, you're going to click on use interval. And once you hit use interval, the sub menu comes up. You can see that the first pin of this particular image will be shared today at 109 p.m. or actually that's I suppose that's in two days <laughs> and what it's doing is it's selected my next open time slot and so you can see that the interval the time between each pin on each of these group boards is set to one day now I can slide this to one hour and once I do that you can see the schedule preview has changed to show a one hour interval. Now if I change it to every seven days, it changes again. So again, this is using the interval type of all of my open time slots. Now on Tailwind, if you go to your Tailwind and go to your scheduled pins, you can see all of your open time slots on the right hand side they will show a timestamp instead of a image of your next scheduled pin. So that's what that's what's happening with the open time slot selected. Now you can use optimized or exact and by hovering over the question mark you can learn more about what each of those settings are. For now I'm going to leave it selected on open time slots and I'm going to schedule this with a one day interval in between each and I'm going to start that on uh, Saturday the 21st so now that the time and day have been selected and the time between each pin has been selected and I've decided to fill these into my open time slots. I'm just going to peruse the preview to make sure that it's doing exactly what I want, which is to share this particular pin over 14 different group boards each day starting on the 21st. So now that it's set, I can hit set interval and then go ahead and hit schedule now. Now once it's scheduled, you can go ahead and go to your schedule over here and hit refresh. And once you hit refresh, it should populate, starting on the day that you chose, should populate that pin. And that pin will then show up with a lock symbol. Oh. 
let me scroll back down to it right here. And so here's that pin, and you can see that it has the lock symbol. That means it's locked in place. So if I hit this shuffle cue button, none of the none of the pins that have a locked symbol on them will move. They are set to schedule at that time and nothing I do will change that unless I unlock it. So you can see it's scheduled on this day and if I scroll down to the next day it's scheduled again to another board on the next day and it w continues until it's pinned itself to those group boards over the uh, number of days that I've set in my interval. So that's how you use Tailwind intervals and how you can schedule your content and reshare your content over multiple days. And as you can see, that just took me a matter of really seconds or minutes to do. So you can technically do multiple at the same time. Just go ahead and hit your Tailwind extension and select multiple pins that you want to share, go and schedule them, and while they're all sitting here, you choose the boards you want, and you can go ahead and start using the intervals, and you can do that on every pin and set your settings, and once you've set your settings and each pin is set up to schedule on an interval, you can go ahead and schedule all and then you'll be able to do multiple um, at once. So utilizing this portion of Tailwind will definitely save you a ton of time. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave me comments below this video or in the blog post and um, I will be sure to check the comments and answer any questions that you have.